The Half OK Dungeons and Dragons podcast is for mature audiences only. Listener discretion is advised. We done warned ya. And she fails miserably. <laughs> oh. oh my god. <laughs> She swings her. Guys were fighting in the war, really. She swings her long sword. Crying. She horribly she misses. See. It's terrible. Now I can see why our side lost all those wars. Yeah. <laughs> she says, "No." I'm the stormtrooper. No, Rob. Jesus. Mora. I am Evrenia Orangecrust. A female gold person. Say to you. Sammy. Hello. My character is Shay Silver Eyes. She is a tiefling. Shay. I am a unicorn man. Senegon Mistborn. Uh, hey guys, hey guys. My name is Horkheimer. I am a Dankwood Goblin. Danielle. My name is Reverend Ransom Bright. You may have seen me on my television show. If any of you need any healing, you can have it for five easy payments at forty nine ninety nine. Because I'm a vampire. Michael. So my name is Dorian Berkman. About six foot one, tall, slender, kind of alpha skin, white hair, and white beard. I'm Troy, the DM for the Ship of Fools campaign. And I'm your host, Lauren, and I play Bianca Aresia, a young maiden. Thank you for joining us for Half OK Adults Only Dungeons and Dragons. We call ourselves Half OK because in addition to having our poop in a group only about 50% of the time, half of us used to work together at a library in Oakmas, a.k.a. the OK. This is episode 43, the second installment of a short campaign where Troy lost his Dungeon Master Cherry and our regular DM, Eric, got to be a player titled Ship of Fools Part 2, a swing and a miss. Our gang of murder hobos were sailing with passengers Raj and Kaz and a captain about to retire when a ship full of assassins started boarding our ship and trying to kill Raj. Will our gang be able to save Raj or will we sink? Enjoy! I'm gonna hit him with my battle axe. Oh god. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna also like hold it in both hands because that means I do nice a little bit more damage. 13 uh, plus 4, that's what, 17? It hits. Yay! So 1d8 plus, what was it, 2? Or no, it's 1d10. What am I doing? I forgot. 1d10 plus 2? Yeah, because I was holding my two hands. My bad. 8 plus 2, 10. Okay, where were you aiming? How, how did it hit? Uh, I just want to see, how do you do, how do you do, how do you, what, what's your style when you hit someone like this? Yeah, you can make friends. I'm holding with both hands. How tall is he compared to me? So I'm like down. average height. He's average height. I can help. Or maybe I'll try and like lop his head off. You try to lop his head off? All right. Cut him down the middle. Okay. He's not wearing very strong armor, but it doesn't it doesn't kill him. But okay. it does it does embed itself into his armor. Sweet. Into his armor. You see some blood trickle out. And that was ten, you said? Uh yeah. nice. yes. Here. Michael, you're next. Okay. There's a mage next to you. So and these are who are these people? The big guys, they're just generic looking thuggish types mm-hmm. enforcers. These two smaller ones are assassins. I mean, who are these two people? Oh. oh those, but those that, is Hork, that is Horkheimer. But I don't really know you guys, right? No, you don't really. I mean, <laughs> you all can, well, I you but... all can recognize each other, so you would know not to kill them unless you don't want to. I mean, just feel like killing like him. Also it's not like we're besties or anything, my, like, but I did give you a much I'm going to say. <laughs> blows a little bit, so I have. So when it says it's got five resistance points, to all damage, except is it that, does it include so, yeah. that? You have to sneak up. You got to basically get into their square next. Get into a square next. No, but if I do a spell, yeah. it's got a five foot width. That's five one square. One that's one square. Right? So you that's can, one that's square. a very focused. So if it hits here, does it go to the next square or just that one square? Just that one, I think. Yeah, just five foot is only as much as your character can take up it. Like a regular size thing can take up. Okay, so I'm going to cast lightning bolt here then. Oh, actually, that's... Uh, if you cast lightning bolt, it'll pass through this one, this one, and this one. Yeah. I would think, and then just go off the ship. Because right? it was a hundred feet yeah. long. It just yeah. five feet wide. Okay. Sure. Yeah. That's a great Dang. idea. That's a great You're gonna hit three enemies with that if you hit. Oh, that's dope. Um. So each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw on sixteen. And if they do, they still get half damage. Yep. Right. You gotta make, I don't roll that. Right. I gotta make three. No. Yeah. You gotta make 16, three. Sixteen. You said. Yeah. Okay. Fail. Fail. They all fail. So the damage is? 30 points. Yeah. All right. This guy is crisped, and he just sl- falls off the side. Unless, why don't you describe it? How does it, how does it look when you kill that dude with uh, this first guy? So this lightning with the lightning bolt. So this lightning bolt flies so out. Okay. Do I rip my axe? And it hits so this guy. And it hits this guy right in the eyeball, mm. and it just explodes yeah. his head, and he just falls off. Oh, oh, okay. Okay. First Worry. kill. Right. First kill. First kill. First, first kill. kill. Oh, by the way, the mage is smoking and he's hunched over. Wait. He's not looking. He's not doing well. Not at all. 
Maybe I better move it out on the side of the ship. Will that incur an attack of opportunity? He moves out uh, of the range. You'll yeah. incur an attack of opportunity from the mage if you move out of the range. Or move it all? Can you can you can you, you, can, move you can make a five foot step? You can make a five foot step without incurring, but you can't move out of the five foot melee range. Yeah, exactly. Okay. 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 So whatever you want to do. I will I'll take a ten foot opportunity. Okay. okay. Alright. He will then so the mage who is smoking, by the way, from the lightning. Sizzling. Bolt, Sizzling. <laughs> His eyes almost turn red, and where he used to be focused more across at the people on the other side, he's he's firmly his eyes are firmly focused on you now. Yeah, well, okay. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Makes sense. I mean, that makes sense. Yeah, that makes sense to me. Him. So he is going to cast. Oh shoot! I forgot. I could have attacked twice. Oh well. He's going to cast a magic missile I on now, you. But I didn't okay. That. Uh, at fourth level, he creates. Three glowing darts plus you get for fourth level one, two more. So okay. five glowing darts. So do I have to save on each force. one of those? There's no save. It's auto hit for magic missile. You just get hit. Yeah. Okay. So he decided he wanted to hurt you and he's going to hurt you and that's just the way it is. So <laughs> dag yo. Hot to be damn. That's just the way it is. Oh, you're all on the main deck now, so everybody can see everything. Okay. Only the captain. Well, the captain's I sleeping. When people start fighting each other, I get more sparkly. And have oh, cool. Like, so like, like Edward? Like... Yeah, like Edward. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> this has got a sparkle moment. All right, all right. 19 force damage. Yeah, it's blowy. Now it's assassin number two's turn. Okay. Oh, shit. We're the crew okay. for this. Hmm? I said, we're the crew for this. Is he still crispy? crispy? He, he got zapped, but he's, he's doing fine. Oh, he's really smoking. Fine. Oh, he's doing fine for he's now. He's not like the mage. Okay. He's smoking, but he's just it made him crouch down a bit, and now he's rising. Oh, and, okay. and he's about to do what he needs to do. So he is going to also move over to Raj. They want that guy dead. Raj! <laughs> no, a, not Raj! <laughs> he's, moved over, Raj! <laughs> he's moved over to Raj. He was going to show me all his scars and tattoos. I don't think he was. Can I at least turn and be like, oh my god, Raj is getting stabbed again. <laughs> sure. Oh, yeah. black boy, unicorn. <laughs> He's getting stabbed again. Like, oh, look, someone's getting stabbed again. What's up is happening. <laughs> okay. Did I have there hit people with my tail? So the assassin rolls you know, up on Raj. I don't know how much damage he would do. And since Raj hasn't taken a turn yet, he has advantage. Oh, um... He moved, the he mage moved. moved like that. I'm going to, um, I can reaction use my spores, so he needs to, oh, yeah, great. the assassin needs to. Into your zone. Yeah, he went through my zone. Okay. Um, so he needs to roll a 16 constitution check. 16 constitution check. Fail. All right, so he is, he takes one point of damage, but you know what? Eat a spore. Eat, eat a spore, <laughs> bitch. As he runs by, he just says, <laughs> he, just, he just scratches himself, but he keeps running. He draws his close. short oh, so sword. Sorry, he sneak attacks. He sneak attacks Raj. Man, Raj is really Raj, what did you do? <laughs> Raj, did he you hits, piss people off? He hits Raj. Obviously. <laughs> sneak attack does. Raj has to make a con save. Apparently she's just yeah. chilling. You need to go get that caster and fuck her shit up. This is suspicious, you know? Yeah. This is a little suspicious. She's up there the whole time, watching, mm-hmm. waiting, waiting. Come mm-hmm. this, lady. At the moment, she <laughs> has fallen over, hasn't she? <laughs> so. That was just because we accidentally had I know, but it was um, just funny. Okay, okay. Not, not having killed Raj, who looks in pain, because he's t- he's, he was, he's been stabbed with a poison short sword. Uh, oh, my God. The assassin decides that he wants to try to finish the job. He's going to attack Raj again. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Right, is too tough to die. Yeah, this is armor's helping. Oh, good thing we didn't make him take that off. Yeah. For <laughs> <laughs> real. Seduce yeah, him. You would be dead. Seduce him. I would have felt a little guilty. <laughs> oh, shit. Sorry. He got hit again. Uh, <laughs> oh, Raj. Oh, no, Raj. I think Raj was supposed to live. <laughs> I think you're right. Welcome to our game. Yeah. Yep. You sure as heck don't right. want to be a NPC in our game. 
He's still alive. That one was more of a gla- <laughs> that one was more of a glancing blow. He did he did take a glancing blow, and and now it is his turn. Is so anyone a healer? I'm yes, a healer. but I have like to give to be given money to do it. He's not collapsed. <laughs> he's not collapsed. He looks. He's just healing somebody. He's, he's like bloody but unbowed. <laughs> okay, okay, he's fine. Which is unhealthy for us to right. pay. So he right. will turn yeah. on. So it's Roger's turn now. So he doesn't know who the hell to attack. Roger, do something. Do something. <laughs> he doesn't know who to attack. But jump, he, Raj, jump. But jump, jump over the side, Raj. The last guy, the, the last assassin who got him, he's attacking that last assassin. He misses. <laughs> oh my god, Raj! The, the number of blows, the number of blows he's taken. It, yeah, he swings weakly. <laughs> Sort of over the head of this smaller. I got Raj's blood on me. Smaller than most. <laughs> now it's Kaz's turn. Is she gonna do anything? Yeah. Kaz. Oh, oh, yeah. She just continues to stare out, stare out over the sea. Kaz says, "Raj, they found us." No. <laughs> she runs toward. She runs toward the first assassin. She runs toward the first assassin. <laughs> she attacks the first assassin. And she fails miserably. <laughs> oh Swing. my god. <laughs> she swings her. Guys were fighting in the war, really? <laughs> she swings her long sword. Young and, and she's, she's crying. She horribly she misses. See. She horribly misses. It's terrible. She's this crying. Is terrible. She I can see why our side lost all those wars. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> she misses and she says, No! Are they stormtroopers? Are they stormtroopers? <laughs> no, Rob! <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, Jesus Christ. All right. Maura, your turn. She stone and stays up on the And you're there's you're elevated by that. It's five feet up. I'm gonna I'm gonna do toll the dead. Um, so the range is 60 feet. Um, you point at one creature you can see within range, and the sound of a bell fills the air around it for a moment. Target must succeed on a wisdom saving throw or take 1d8 necrotic damage. Target is missing any of its hit points and instead takes 1d12 damage at higher levels. Maybe they have work as level, right? Yes. So it's gonna be 2d8 or 2d12. It'll be 2d12 then. 2D12? I kill. Well, he's not real wise or anything, but what is it? Um, yours is going to be yeah, 16. Hi friends, we hope that you're enjoying the episode so far. We are half okay, but we hope that you're more than just half okay. Or if you're not okay, we hope that you're at least damaged in an interesting way, are seeking professional help, and that you have awesome friends like we do to help get you through. If you don't have your own gang of weirdos, you do have us. You can reach us at halfokdnd at gmail.com. That's H-A-L-F-O-K-D-A-N-D-D at gmail.com. Don't forget the double dose of the D. Oh yeah. You can give us a like on Facebook under Half OK D and D. Follow us on TikTok and YouTube and Instagram, all the social medias. If you're taking to use more robot screaming sounds, as my mom calls my music, you can find it on SoundCloud under Half OK D and D. This song is called Galaxy, Forbidden Matrices version, and was inspired by a poem Eric and Lauren wrote about Sammy's new phone, and was mentioned in this campaign. And our love will be eternal if you subscribe to our podcast. New episodes out every other weekish. But wait. There's more! Hey, this is Danielle, and in our podcast, D&D Half OK, I play Horton's Glory Beard currently. And if you like hearing from me and want to hear original short stories and poetry, I started a new podcast on Spotify called Tales and Treasures. You should head on over and check it out. Thanks. Bye. Fail. Yeah, so roll up your 2d12. This, let's yep. go. Twice. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 12. Nice. Plus. One. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thirteen. All right. Is that a bell? <laughs> <laughs> so as he takes this, what, what was it called again? Necrotic. He takes this damage. Yeah. He, he vomits up black bile. It's coming out of his nose, too. And he doesn't quite drop to his knees, but it's close. Gross. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yes. Ah, no, Angel my got eyes are Angel got its wings. Lauren, you're up. So how far away are these people from me? <laughs> They're 20 away. Okay, because I get I can cast 30. Okay. Or you could stay up here and attack them from above if you want to do a range attack. Yeah, or if you want okay, to do maybe I'll, okay, if you I'll want to do a range attack, you can stay up here. Actually, and actually, touch, I'll give though. you advantage because you have the high ground. All right. Oh. I have the high ground. All right, so I'm going to go here. I'm going to cast um, snare. 
on on this person here. You're here though. Okay, so the step the stairs don't count. I'm just gonna boop you out if you go down the stairs. Okay, I'll have to touch out. them though. You are. Okay, you are. I'm touching them. Okay. Just boop it. So I'm gonna cast snare. Ooh. On them. So as I cast the spell, um, I use make a magical rope. Basically snares them. It's a snare. <laughs> <laughs> It's invisible, so it uh, requires a successful intelligence investigation check against your spell to save DC to be discerned. You must succeed on a dex saving throw or be magically hoisted into the air, leaving it hanging upside down three feet above the ground or the floor. They're restrained until the spell ends, which the spell lasts eight hours. We can eat them slowly. <laughs> <laughs> and they can make a dex save at the end of each of this turn. I can hit them like a pinata with my horn. Yes, you can hit them like a pinata. Sweet. All right, cool. So tell me what I got to do. What do I have to roll again? A dex saving throw. Spell save DC. Eight plus eight. Oh, eight plus con plus wisdom. Yeah, beat that dog. <laughs> <laughs> That's 15. So a, D, a dex save of 15. Fail. Yeah, bitches. Yeah. So this assassin <laughs> fails. And so now what happens to the... Is he... He's hung upside down in a snare. Yeah. 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 So he's, he's a pinata now. So I'll just lay him down and... Yay, pinata. Actually, you can't tell if it's him or her. They're hooded. There. Oh. They are hung upside down. They're hung upside down. Yeah. They are hooded. They are hanging upside down. And so what is the escape? Would they be rolling deck saves at the beginning of their next turn to try to get... Yeah, they can roll deck saves at the beginning of their next turn, too. Okay. Shay, it is your turn now. The two assassins are the closest enemies to you. All the other enemies are on the starboard side of the ship. Okay. Yeah, we'll say starboard. Yeah, starboard. You're on the port side. <laughs> so they're all on the starboard side. <laughs> Did you Google the other assassin is still there and in your melee range. What a weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> how badly like injured is Raj? Raj was hurt badly. <laughs> but yeah, well, he's bloody. He's not on his knees. Raj he's, is not doing he, he was hurt. He was hurt badly. But he's not doing too hot. He attacked. Okay, he attacked so. back and he didn't look like he had any problem doing that. Now the, the assassin, they are simply just standing there cackling. They seem to love their job. <laughs> okay. Well, They're loving it. Uh, so the thing about Celadon is if somebody gets injured, even if it's a paper cut, I feel compelled to heal them immediately. It's one of my weaknesses. So I have to save Raj and fight cure him. So basically, yeah. I turn to Raj, and my eyes become completely black, oh. and my skin turns into like a metallic silver. And Just like you would think when healing. I <laughs> but I have to heal you. So by the black boy unicorn Pegasi, I'm going to kill you. Kill you. He says, do it! <laughs> do it now! Okay, so I lay hands on him and, and sparkle a little bit. 3d8 plus 4. 3d8 plus yeah, 4. Yeah, what's 6 plus 3? 6d uh, plus, plus 4, so that's 14, 18. Okay. I cut out most of the math. <laughs> <laughs> or through their podcast. Ra- okay, well, Raj, Raj accepts your healing <laughs> gladly with Drayton's. None of us were mad. His things. eyes bright. That's true. I'm sure he's got chemistry, but that's what it is. I, I, I visibly. I may teach math, but that doesn't mean that I can. Or I may teach math. I may teach math, but that doesn't mean I know how to. You know, math. Math. Makes me sad. That yeah. unicorn is glowing. He says, he says, Saradon, we war together. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I, I <laughs> yes, it's getting real. Says, no, this would be great. <laughs> I hate you. <laughs> this is pretty sweet. All right, next. Uh, I'm going to say it's Mage's turn. Mage, also wearing a hood, but you can see, you know, some red eyes glowing. But smoking, most of his robe is on fire. <laughs> that son of a bitch. Yeah. Did he take damage? Because his robe's on fire? Yeah, good point. Well, no. Channel my inner vermilion. It looks so much. That was a great question. Though. He knows he's not long for this world. I've got probably, so he's gonna, Silhana with Beric. He's going to nice. go hard. Yeah, he's going to go ham. Three. Uh oh. Okay, he's going to blast. He's going to cast his fifth level cone of cold right now. <laughs> Oh, shit. And He's going to ass blast you guys. Pretty much everyone other than Lauren's character is going to get <laughs> Cone of Colded. So all these people this way. Yeah. Everyone here gets Cone of Colded. He doesn't, he's even hitting his own assassins. He doesn't care anymore. It doesn't matter to him. No, me. he's raging. He's raging. I'm right. raging. That son of a bitch. Well, I'll tell you what to do. You're going to have to make a side throw here. Cone of Cold is fifth level evocation. He uses a small crystalline glass cone. 
It's instantaneous. A blast of cold air erupts from his hand. Each creature in a 60-foot cone must make a constitution saving throw. A creature takes 8d8 cold damage on a fake save. 8d8? Jesus. Or half as much damage on a successful one. A creature killed by this spell becomes a frozen statue until it thaws. What's your constitution? So you have to all make constitution saving throws of... Gonna die. I would be yeah, immune to this shit. Yeah, I'm well. immune to everything except for psychic damage. Oh. It's not that bad. Well, not immune. Resistant. Sorry. It's not that bad. You gotta make a con 14. Con oh, 14. Yeah. I did 21. I did 11, so... <laughs> so you're in there, you're in there too, Shay. So it's gonna be 48 damage. I want to spell that if I get hit by something, I automatically get enveloped by ice. Cool. And it reduces it, but I can't find a spell. Eric, you might need to help me. Okay, what? What do you need? I don't know what happened to the spell. You made this spell where if I get hit automatically, I get enveloped in ice to protect Well, these myself. are different characters. No, there is a... You do have... Okay, so it's like the Tomb of Something. Tomb of Lys... Levistus? It's, it's a DC 14 Okay. Save. What? If a vampire loses a saving throw, it can choose to succeed instead in one for one long rest. <laughs> nice! So <I'm> <laughs> Okay. I succeeded. Right, that. That's dope. Where, where are you at? That's the American education system for you. You're right here? Like, no, I didn't. Yeah. Fail. I win. <laughs> Always winning. Winning. It kind of fits right here. Hashtag okay. winning. The rev passes. <laughs> Dorian apparently, passes. Apparently, I gained 10 temporary hit points for warlock level, which shields me from the triggering damage for as much as possible. So it's 50 level, so that means that. Yep. Damn. I'm sorry, have we, have we figured out whether you passed or failed yet? Um, it just happens automatically. So just, what What happens? You take no damage? So, so I, I have 50 extra hit points, so however much hit points you hit me with, I'll just subtract that off my Oh, but amount. still roll your con save. Oh, okay. Because it could have it. It's a con 14. Con save DC 14. Oh, okay, well then I'm 18. We went except for Danielle who passed it. What? Danielle got to redo it. What? Danielle? Oh, Danielle got to redo it, yeah. She's playing oh. by American. American <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I didn't lose. I actually won. You're wrong. Alternative fact. <laughs> Fake news. Fake news. The <laughs> Fake news. You're a wrong. Okay. All right. Reverend, you take 14 dam- cold damage. Okay. Saladon, you take 14 cold damage. Okay. You got your. You still have 36 temporary hit points, the then. Cream cheese. Dorian, you only take 14. Mm. Raj, for once, only takes a little damage. 14. (laughs) Both assassins take failed, and they take 28, and Kaz failed, and she takes 28. I'm barely alive. The assassin who's hanging in the air is looking real shitty. Oh, that's good. Assassin 2. The assassin's going to try to kill Raj again. He just doesn't care. People don't care. They want Raj dead. They want Raj dead. What did Raj do? Oh, Maybe he'll live and he'll tell you. <laughs> Maybe he'll live and he'll tell you. Right, before you die, tell us why they want to kill you. <laughs> Busy fighting. <laughs> Once again, he attacks. They attack with a oh, short yeah, sword. This blow does hit. Raj goes down. Oh, oh no. Raj has to. Raj can make death saving throws. Raj is unconscious. Raj! Unconscious? He's unconscious. He's unconsciousness. Yeah, Raj is unconscious. Hey, Danielle, it's your turn. Yay! Um, Is the mage still up? Yep. Okay. Up, oh, hurt badly, smoking. That's okay. Just a little fire, but not enough to hurt. Smoke like a lovely brisket. Smoke like a lovely brisket. So I'm going to try to charm him, okay. and you have to make a DC wisdom saving throw, and he becomes charmed and seeks to do my bidding and protect me. Okay. What's the DC? I'll just a roll. 17. I'll roll it. Failure. Yay! He's not immune. He's not immune to it, so he's been charmed. All right. Do you now give commands? I can't yeah. give commands. I can give suggestions. Oh, suggestions. Yes. I suggest you get your bitch ass off What do you boat. suggest? I suggest you go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> yeah, right. Okay. Hurry, save him. Save who? Uh, Raj. Save Raj? Yeah. Oh, all right. Okay. Can he take an action now, or does he have to wait until his turn? Um, he's been commanded to do something. The command will come on his turn. turn. Okay. All right, cool. That just leaves our heavies, I believe, after that. So the heavies will go. This guy is going to uh-huh. attack Horkheimer because he's making him itchy. And <laughs> yeah, I'll make puking. It itch. He's puking. It's gross. 
each four assholes. So <laughs> he's going to swing his mace down upon you. <laughs> and he rolls a 16. Oh, God damn it. Yep, that hits. Okay, that hits. 26 plus 2 bludgeoning. Four. Four bludgeoning damage. You son of a bitch. He looks he looks happy a little. <laughs> I'm happy. I'm this gonna a, taste a sport. A little better. The other two thugs, they both have crossbows. They're both gonna shoot crossbows. And they thought it was not cool they that Saladon had tried to help Raj out. So yeah. they're, they're both going to lose crossbow bolts upon Saladon. Oh, okay. Well, I still have my mounting thing going on, so hopefully that helps. They don't know that. They're really dumb. <laughs> <laughs> we hired them because they're dumb. They probably will miss. They probably will miss. Okay, so first one. Is a 10 to hit? What's your AC? What's that? Your AC has got to be at least 10. No, I don't know. Yeah, that's a miss. Don't worry. I don't remember. First one misses. Second one misses. They both miss. And wow, that's terrible. they're useless. <laughs> they really are. Well, now I'm going to murder them. We're back around to the beginning, so everyone gets to have another turn. Eric. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. You're out. Eric, Eric, kill them. Poor Kymer, you got this. Okay. Put your Horkheimer in them. Small but mighty. <laughs> I've had just about enough of this. Oh, by the way, in between yeah. turns, in between turns, the captain did wake up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, did he? <laughs> and did he come out? He was a heavy sleeper. He came out. He came out. He came out on deck. How close did you land there? No, came out on deck. He saw what was going on, and he ran back down. <laughs> so he's down in the dining room. Oh my God. He's down in the dining room. I'll punish him for it, don't what worry. Does he get oh, yeah, you will. Sorry, he he's just about to retire. He's old, and he's a stress eater. So yeah. And I think he just got... I think someone just helped him finish, so he's he's really tired right now. Someone just helped him finish. Who helped him finish? There's no one else on the boat, is there? Like a, a rat or listen something? To the, you need to listen to the tape. <laughs> okay, I am... I'm going to cast Call Lightning. No, actually, I am going to go spore crazy. Oh, hell yeah. I'm using my spores. Spores! Let's go. Thank you for joining us for Hat OK Dungeons & Dragons, episode 43, titled Ship of Fools, part two, A Swing and a Miss, the second installment of our Ship of Fools campaign. We hope you don't find us as disappointing as our parents do. We prostrate ourselves at your feet and beg you to subscribe to our podcast and give us nice reviews so we don't cry more than we already do normally. Share us with all your cool friends. New Half OK D&D episodes out every other week-ish. Join us next time to see if our murder hobos can save the ship from these assassins or if they sink. Peace. I suggest you get your bitch ass off. What do you suggest? I suggest you go fuck yourself. Uh